Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with another great Dark Beyond card review in the, the final Shaman cards to review, including again, 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 more mass managing. What is going on? It's ridiculous, but also a really cool spell combo. Lots of spell stuff going on in Shaman, shuffling spells, launching asteroids. There's some cool stuff here. There's some things that I am my god this card just scares the living uh you know what out of me and if you want to win these cards including that you know what card <laughs> we are giving away two regular pre-orders three mega bundles out of my pocket to enter that giveaway like and comment in the video link down description below with the one with that thumbnail over there subscribe to the channel every thousand subs we get until all the cards are revealed i will add another mega bundle so hit that sub button make me go broken i, I feel like i'm gonna pull my hair out when we get to the legendary but we'll save that for a last let's go over the cool stuff starting off with a triangulate a new two mana spell a rare spell no spell school nothing like that this discovers a different spell from your deck so not itself any other spell, though, it can discover, including plagues from Death Knight. You want to, you know, shuffle three copies of it to your deck so you can shuffle even more plagues. That'd be fun. But yeah, you know, you could get a ton of value with like just more spells that you would like to get, you know, be like Frosty Decor again. I like mentioning that card. I dislike that card. OK, uh, but the idea is uh, these asteroids we'll see in a second. Um, but also, I just want to mention Incendius. You can get copies of that card as well. Um, you discover it and I think you get it in your hand as well. Shuffle three copies, right? I think that's how it works. I I'm not entirely sure if you actually get the value in your hand or not, but either, uh, anyways, uh, it's really good with cast when drawn cards, right? Um, you get more value from that when you, uh, draw it. It's not necessarily taking your draw away from you. It's probably pushing damage, which we're going to see what these cards want to do. But even outside of that working, a working strategy right now in standard is Incendia Shaman and getting more, you know, whatever those things are called that Incendia shuffles in is a really nice thing. And um, it could be value. It could be damage. It could be a lot of different things. I can absolutely see this card seeing some play. Probably doesn't really work with the big spell package so much, but other than that, I think the card has a bit of shot. Again, it's very niche. It's definitely a, one of those more like kind of ones that really requires specific deck. We're just seeing like multiple of that right now in Shaman alone. So it might just make the cut. It's a low three from me, but I'm giving it a three to five. I think this season meant to play in a wild. You know what I'm going to say? Too slow. Doesn't do enough. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, that's the case. It's not really going to make the cut there. I'll give it a two, though. I'm sick of giving everything a one, but it's certainly I don't think a meta player in WoW. But all right, let's take a look at some of the stuff that we would want to shuffle into our deck besides the incendiuses of the world or a value spell or whatever. Starting off with the Ultra Violet Breaker, which is a new elemental for Shaman. Three mana, three, two. Battle Cry. You deal three damage to an enemy minion straight up. And then you shuffle three asteroids into your deck. And I believe asteroids deal two damage. They deal two damage to a random enemy, which is not amazing, but when you start piling them up and putting more and more into your deck, we already saw, I believe, that Moonstall Mauler or whatever, Elemental, which again, Elemental, Shaman Elemental, you might want to do an Elemental Asteroid deck or something along those lines, but the more you put into your deck, the more often you're going to draw them, the more often you're going to do two damage, and eventually it's going to start hitting face, killing minions. That can really pile up, but again, you're going to need to shuffle a lot. I feel like you need to shuffle a lot of these, um, but when you're shuffling three in per uh, minion, right, or whatever, and then you could play that other spell and shuffle in more, yeah, you're going to start getting a lot of that stuff going in, and then again, like Incendius on top of that, you have even more stuff being shuffled in, that's just gonna add up a ton. I feel like this archetype could work and be like, you know, already got the elemental shaman package going and going pretty well that maybe you just put this hybrid asteroid incendious elemental shaman together. I could see it happening. So I'll give it a three to five in standard, uh, two in wild, uh, but certainly something to look for and seems kind of fun. I don't know, it's fun shuffling stuff into your deck and drawing it at least. I'm like, Plagues is not shuffling into their deck and it feels bad to draw your own cards. This is, feels good to draw your own cards. You're not as at the mercy of like, oh man, they're never drawing them. At least I can impact that a bit more. And well, speaking of asteroids, we have a new 
another elemental here, the Bolide Behemoth, a four mana, three, six minion battle cry. Your asteroids deal one more damage this game. All right. Well, now they're not dealing just two. They're dealing three or four or five, depending on how many I've played. Of course, you got shutter block and all that stuff that can, you know, amp that up even more. And you get spell burst shuffle three of them into your deck. So they'll be upgraded and bam, you're all of a sudden dealing a lot more damage and get shutter blocking with this you're gonna get like plus three more damage shuffle i guess you would only shuffle three more i feel i feel like they're like okay with shutter block maybe it's just enough that they get the damage they're not also gonna shuffle them in so you won't shuffle in more with this you will with the prior card with the shutter block but again that's three more and if you can run two of these two of course and just do more crazy crazy stuff and shuffle in asteroids this is certainly an archetype I'm gonna wanna try out ramping them up and uh, yeah, there's nothing your opponent can do. Once those asteroids start, you know, this battle cry goes, it's a constant effect that will last till the end of the game. We know that could be powerful and this is a decently statted minion. It doesn't have a big impact on the board though. It's just a three six, but something I won't write off. I'm gonna give it three to five as well in standard and in wild. The deal, it's a two, it's too slow. I'm sorry, it's just, it's just the way it is. And hey, we got another asteroid card, the Meteor Storm. This is a nature spell, six mana, deal five damage to all minions. That includes your own. So if you're playing this elemental style thing, might be a bit anti-synergistic, destroy your board, or just gonna be built a different way, hard to tell. It, I mean, we're not playing the game yet. We're not out there. We're not theory crafting yet. At least I'm not. And yeah, so you can blow up the board. It's a lot of damage for six mana compared to the flame strike, which is one sided, but still it's pretty decent. And then again, you will shuffle five asteroids into your deck. That is a lot. That could be 10, I guess ba base uh, baseline, it's 10 random damage uh, split in little twos, or it could be threes and then it's what, 15 or it's fours, then it's 20, right? You're escalating by quite a lot. And again, you can run two of these, it's a nature spell. So you could possibly discover this in other means. That's pretty darn good. And it's more of a bigger spell. So you could play that more of that big spell package if you're looking to do that. So yeah, pretty, I don't know this, it feels like this could work. And there's a lot of asteroids and a lot of ramping it up and uh, shooting meteorites or I guess asteroids at your opponent could be quite a bit of fun. I'll give it a three. I'm giving this whole package a three. It just seems like it's got a shot and I wouldn't normally be as high on this if I hadn't seen Incendius already working. Yeah, Incendius is everything, so it's way more effective, but you get to shuffle so much crap in your deck that it's just gonna eventually crap on your opponent. So yeah, three in standard, two in wild, and then, oh no, oh man, this is where I'm like, oh God, what are we doing here, Hearthstone? Can we stop with this? We have the Murmur, a six mana, six, six elemental. Your battle cry minions cost one. Just that's, that's it, they cost one, but immediately die after being played. So if I'm on six and I can coin, I can coin out Deathwing, <laughs> clear the board, and then Deathwing dies. <laughs> Although, will Deathwing proc kill this and then not die? I actually don't know. I'm well, not entirely sure, but I'm wondering in Wild in particular with this card, like if I play Shutterwalk for one and it does its battle cry where it duplicates itself and sends it back to your hand, I feel like those wouldn't die and you could possibly Shutterwalk early which is kind of insane. Obviously you have to have to set up your copy and your grumble, but still that's something to uh, think about. And yeah, you could just cheat out whatever battle cry. It doesn't matter how expensive it is. Not even, it doesn't even matter if it's a hundred mana, you know, a hundred mana, you can play it. It will die though. It will die um, unless this minion is silent. Oh no, you, you, you'd play it and then it would just die. You wouldn't have that time to interact with it. So it's a, it's a crazy mass mana cheat card but you don't get to keep the body from your battle cries, but I'm sure this will lead to like crazy OTKs. Like it just will. Like these type of cards that have this type of mass mana cheat just lead to just shenanigans. At, like at least Brand isn't in standard right now, um, but it does scare me. I don't know what exactly you're gonna do with it, but I just see your battle cry minions cost one. That is insane amount of possible mana cheat. It's an elemental, which you could possibly discount in other ways too. 
It terrifies me. I don't like the design of this card. You know I won't like the design of this card. I don't like, I don't, at least they're not zero. At least they, they restrain themselves on that, but I don't know. I don't find these cards exciting. I know there's a player subset out there that really do like these cards, but for me, it's like, it's just a giant, it's gonna be a scam. Whatever it is, this card is just gonna promote some giant scam, something stupid, and I will get mad and be like, grr, mana cheat, bad, or whatever, but regardless, I'm gonna get a four to five. I don't even know what is the thing you're gonna do with it. I really don't, but I feel like somewhere it's gonna do something stupid. Wild, I'll give it a three. Particular, yeah, maybe Shutterwalk shenanigans or just, I don't know, I played Denathrius for one mana. Like that, that seems pretty good, right? Even if it's been nerfed, I can play Denathrius for one and do other things. I, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I'm giving it a passable uh, rating in both formats because yes, mana cheat typically does impact the wild meta. So there you go. That's all the Shaman cards. A little bit spooked on the murmur, but the rest of the stuff looks really cool. We'll see how it all plays out. And tomorrow, I believe we have our final day of reviews and it's Paladin Day. What are they gonna do for Paladin? We'll have to wait and see. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.